Make sure to go to CommonwealthPicker.com to see if we have any mugs left. Welcome back to Commonwealth Flipper. My name is Kevin. We're in the cabin here. We will, as always, go inside the eBay cave. We made a ton of sales. Had a ton of sales today. Just a whole bunch. And I don't even know how many. I don't even know for how much. But I do know that one of them was a non-eBay sale. I don't sell on every platform. You know, I don't often talk about it. I sell a little bit on Amazon. I have a little bit over there. I sell a little bit on Mercari. There's one other platform I'm going to talk about today, and that's where this sale came from. My wife sells a little bit on Poshmark, but in all honesty, we do almost nothing on Poshmark. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> I, I, I don't mean anything bad about Poshmark. I know a lot of you out there make a ton of money on Poshmark, and my wife does it from time to time, but I just don't have time to do what it takes. I think Poshmark for me is a different kind of an animal. It doesn't fit me. It doesn't fit my personality. It doesn't fit my interests. It's just not something that I'm going to do right now. But I'm not dissing it in any way. I would promote it. I think a lot of people for what they do, that's where they should sell. It's just not for me. There are some other platforms that I've been exploring. Like I have a Depop account, for instance. I don't know if I'm going to sell over there. I know that I probably should with a few different items. I might expand into that. But you know, that gets me thinking about something. If you're a new eBay reseller and you watch all these reseller shows out there, you don't need to go sign up for every single thing and list on 16 platforms and make your mind chaotic and crazy. Just take it easy. eBay is enough for most people. It's just enough. It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine for what you do. If it's something that you do for a living then yeah, maybe you should look into these other platforms and start to expand a little bit. But take it easy. Take your time. Don't stress out about it. It's not worth it. For me, I do what I do because I enjoy it. The moment I start hating doing what I do because of the stress involved, I'm not going to do it. And there's no money in not doing it at all. So I'm okay with just doing eBay. I do think that it's wise to learn other platforms just to understand them in case the market changes so much that you need to change with it, you can't be stuck with your feet in the cement. You know, I'm a history teacher, so history tells us that. At any rate, I am happy to make this sale. I was a little surprised. I was shocked. It was a huge sale. It was a $200 sale on some items that hadn't sold for a long time on eBay. So if you hang around for just a little bit, we'll get to that sale. But that one's going to be on in the eBay cave in there. And I'm going to show you what sold in here first. Let's take a look. By the way, if I did this video right, Reagan's already come on and told you that the Commonwealth Picker store, CommonwealthPicker.com, we did put up 50 mugs. And we put them up yesterday, but this is the first you're hearing about it on this channel. So you probably, if you hear this early enough, can go over there and find yourself a mug if you were one of the people who didn't get it. Now that reminds me of one other thing. A little less than 100 mugs got sent out last time really, really quickly, and we ended up having four break. So we're going to do 50 this time, and if yours breaks, just snap a picture of it, preferably send it to me on Instagram, tell me. I've pulled some mugs back just in case we have some problems, and we'll send you off another one. If you don't do Instagram, maybe you can send me an email or uh, contact me another way. So at any rate, hopefully everything's all right, but I'm sure something will get broke on the way. So here is a Speed Stacks, and I picked this one up for two bucks. I probably shouldn't have bought it at all, to be perfectly honest with you. It only sold for 11 plus shipping. And it took a long time to sell. If you ever see the speed stacks, they're just little cups and people do stacking. They're pretty decent. This one had a couple markings on it. I don't know that I would pay very much for a backpack per se. But if you have a full set or something new that you find that somebody got for Christmas and like, I don't want this thing. Those things will sell fairly decent on eBay. So $10.95 plus shipping. All right, it's a pretty big sale here. This is a $60 sale. For 38 clover, I guess, knitting needles, crocheting needles, I guess they're knitting needles, and they're bamboo. And I bought these for five bucks. Five dollar sale at a garage sale. I wish I remember the name of this sale. I can't remember it, but I know it was down here uh, in Bedford, and it was my last sale before I came home. And I found some really good stuff. A vintage starter Cubs jacket for a couple of bucks, and I picked these up for five dollars. They were selling them, I think, for 50 cents a piece. And so do the math on that. What is that? Uh, $19 for 38 of them. And I'm like, hey, how about five bucks and I'll take them all? And they're like, sure, no problem. So we did. And they sold for 60 
plus shipping. This sold to a viewer. It sold to Deborah, and she says, "Hello, Kevin. I love your show and have learned so much from you. Thank you." So, Deborah, thank you. We appreciate the sale, and we hope you get some good use out of these knitting needles. Another LU two dollar buy shirt sold for fifteen ninety five. Free shipping. Hey, Dapper Tiger saw us buy this one in that uh, Estate by the Lake sale. No, it wasn't. It was uh, Sunday's video that just came out, the exact change sale. And I set it down. I'm like, no, I don't want to get it because it had a little sweat thing here. And, you know, it's an okay hat. It's a pretty cool. It's a the game hat. And it is definitely vintage. It was made in Taiwan, but it's all embroidered here. I'm like, you know, I'll go back and pick it up. It's only going to take me a couple minutes. You know, I pass up a lot of stuff. And viewers are like, why would you pass that up? I know some of it makes money and some of it I just pass up because I don't want to put in the time. So let's say this is an $8 profit hat, which because Dapper Tiger bought this thing and I don't have any fees on it and I'm just going to ship it off to him with an Inaman that he also purchased. I'm going to make a little bit more than that on this one. But let's just say on eBay it's an $8 profit hat. It could be more, it could be less, but let's say it's an $8 profit hat. And I'm going to put in, you know, 10 minutes roughly into doing pictures and listing it and shipping it, maybe even a little bit more than that. And then I'm going to go and I'm going to put in, you know, five more minutes into cleaning it and hanging it up, letting it dry, putting it on a little head so it reshapes itself. You know, is that really worth it? Yeah, I made the decision in the end that it was worth it because all of that combined might take 15 minutes or so. And so you're going to end up making about $32 an hour on a hat like that. So that's why I set it down and then I came back and got it later. So anyway, that's my thought process on that. Some people ask about that, but this is awesome. And Dapper Tiger is awesome. If I can remember, I'm going to put his YouTube channel on this TV at the end of the show and you can go over there and sub to his channel. He just had a little baby, I believe. So thank you so much and congratulations to you and congratulations to your wife as well. And we're going to send an Inaman out with it and we really appreciate it. All right, I'm going to take a Dave Matthews CD out of this little... I have my CDs right here. You can't see it. Maybe I'll give a full tour. I gave a brief one the other day, I think, on uh, maybe Saturday's video. At any rate, this is the Warehouse Edition for Dave Matthews. Dave Matthews was from uh, UVA up there, Charlottesville area, so it's not too far away from where we're at, about an hour and 20 minutes or so. I remember being in college at the time, and he was kind of rising up through the ranks in the uh, mid to late 90s, I guess it was. At any rate, this warehouse edition sold for $8. It was on sale, so I think I normally have it out there for a little bit more than that. But I bought, I think, 42 of these for $5. So I'm obviously I'm into it for next to nothing, you know, a dime, just a little bit more than that. So we'll make a decent little profit on that. I think I have like 32 left. All right, this one is really cool. I can't remember which sale I picked this up at, but it was fairly recently that I picked it up. It's a Champion Fanny Pack. Got the sweet little stripes on it. I even asked Reagan if she wanted it. She's like, eh, not really. <laughs> I'm like, okay. It does just have one zipper pouch and it's neoprene. And uh, it's got a pretty heavy duty little buckle on it though. And this one sold for $12.50 plus shipping on it. And I think I paid a dollar. So it's a nice little close to a $10 profit. It sold the other day and somebody decided to cancel it before I ever shipped it. So I relisted it and it sold in like an hour or two after that. $12.50 plus shipping. All right, hey, before we go in there, I just want to give a big giant thank you to all the new people who've been flooding into both of these channels. We really do appreciate it. And thank you for those of you who've been watching those garage sale videos on Commonwealth Picker. A lot of you have subscribed and told me you're a new subscriber and then headed over here. So we do appreciate it. Let's go inside and see what's sold out of there. Hey, I forgot to tell you out there with that buy from Dapper Tiger, we've already made 41 of our $50 back at the exact change sale, the video from last Sunday. I'll link it if you haven't seen it, but 99% of you, I'm sure, have seen that. So we're $9 short just with three sales, a Granger 10 to Keith and a couple of Tupperware sales. So we're just $9 short with three sales. We sold a Granger 10, a little bit of Tupperware, and a Bruins hat. So we've already made $41 of the 50 back. And that's already taking out shipping and expenses and all that. I get that question a lot. When I put these numbers here, this is the profit now i don't assume a starting price on it because that's listed up here at 50 bucks so we're going to probably retire a couple of sales and then start keeping track of the exact change sale and maybe keeping track of the estate by the lake sale as well speaking of garage sales we're keeping track of the i love hot moms sale which is basically leftover vintage vhs horror movies from the year before where i had already picked it i went back again and he still had stuff and i'm like well I guess I'll repick it for $5 and 
<laughs> I found a few more. My wife picks the orders out of here sometimes and puts them down here because I'm a little bit overwhelmed lately. There's so I don't want to complain, but trying to keep up with the garage sale videos and posting videos on here and the Q&As and listing and shipping with all this stuff that's going out and helping Reagan with the CommonwealthPicker.com store. I'm a little bit running ragged here lately, so she's been helping me pick orders and package orders, which is really, really nice of her. And she doesn't like it when I sell these horror movies. She didn't even like them in here. So she wasn't too happy to pick this one, but she's happy it's going. $14.81 free shipping. So that's about a $10 profit after fees and after the $280 immediate mail shipping. We're going to add that to our total for that little $5 pick. And remember, this was not the initial pick. I probably made $1,000 on the initial pick. This was a year later coming back to the garage sale and picking what I had already picked. So uh, let's take a look at that. I know Thrift Raider out there is probably sad she didn't get that vintage horror movie. So, any rate, five dollar buy on the I Love Hot Moms sale. If you're new to the channel, it's because the person who sold it to me had a T-shirt that says I Love Hot Moms, and his mom was at the sale, which I thought was a little ironic. So I put it on there. Two hundred sixteen dollars from five dollars. I think we're gonna retire this sale. There are nine more VHS over there. None of them for over. I don't. I don't think fifteen dollars so we can assume we'll make close to 250 on that second round of horror movie picking hey we have an in man going out to matt and matt says going to give this to my dad for father's day he is a huge fan and we both resell on the side have a great day so matt thank you so much and we hope your dad enjoys this guy we are down to what does it say we are down to 318 to go oh what am i going to do when i'm when i'm out of in <laughs> Against all odds, DVD set eleven dollars and four cents. Free shipping. It'll go out two eighty. Maybe this is over a pound. It might actually be over a pound. So it's going to go out for uh, three bucks or so. Three oh nine. Is that what the second rate is for a medium mail? Can't remember right offhand. Three oh nine. I think is what it is. At any rate, against all odds, it's going out and will make a, quite a bit of profit. Believe it or not, for such a cheap item to sell, it's about a six dollar profit. Maybe just a little bit less for us because I am literally into this for pennies. I have a bunch of them. Here we have another one going out to Daniel. He says, hi, Kevin. Enjoy watching you on YouTube. I can't believe I didn't know what the heck an Enneman was until my wife of 41 years explained it to me. That's probably a good thing you don't know what an enema. Well, it's a good thing you don't know what an enema is. For sure, I would hope. And now you know what an Enneman is. And he says, what a gas. Can't wait to get it. God bless. So God bless you as well. And we hope he gets things moving out of your eBay store for you. My wife's been selling quite a bit of Under Armour. We are in this on average for about $2 a piece. We bought some for more than that, some for less than that. We have a whole tub full of it, tons of it, hundreds of them. And this one sold for $10.95 plus shipping. Sold this one on a sale and it's uh, out of our $2 box of uh, keepsake ornaments and it was $7.81 free shipping. So not a big profit there. I forgot to say back there with those vintage VHS, if you are new to selling on eBay, go in and type in to eBay, vintage horror movies, completed, sold, highest price plus shipping first. And there's about five or six really, really, really good ones that you need to keep an eye out for hundreds of dollars. And then after that, you can scroll down and see there's another wave of videos that go for around a hundred. And then it gets down to that type where you, you could make easily make $10 profit a piece. On vintage horror movies if you come across a box of it try to get a price on it don't go through them individually one by one like I did now the reason I did the first time is because he had thousands of them and I was like oh my gosh this seems like a bear and I whittled it down to you know maybe 50 or so they weren't all horror movies but we whittled it down and I picked them all out but I missed some because he had so many videos the second time I literally went in there and just pulled every single horror movie and a few of them weren't good, but you know what? You package a few that aren't good with a few that are good and put it in a lot, you're gonna end up selling them all. I got three more going out, Kathy, Mac, and Keith. And Keith has been buying quite a bit from us lately. And Keith said that he and Janet wanted to get one for his friends, Kat and Jake, because they have an antique shop. So he thought they could uh, get things moving out of their antique shop. So definitely, matter of fact, you gotta put it up there like at the cash register so people will be like, what the heck is that thing? And then you can tell them about Commonwealth Picker and Commonwealth Flipper. <laughs> All right, here is the sale I'm talking about. I was talking about it at the beginning of the show. I sold this on Bonanza. I don't wanna go into the whole spiel here, but essentially you can sign up for Bonanza and it will import all of your eBay items into Bonanza. 
and I'm like, hey, let's just sign up for this thing. I'd heard a lot of YouTubers talk about it. I've actually had an account for a while. I just didn't do anything with it. And I was watching a show the other night that had Alex from Fat Man the Flipper, Oscar from uh, El Cubanazo. I should pronounce that right. I don't often talk about this, but my great-grandmother was Cuban. She actually came over to Key West and we have family down there. So maybe that's where I get my height. You know, she was tiny. She's like four foot nothing. <laughs> I'm not too tall myself. At any rate, I remember seeing pictures of her down there in Key West before she married my great grandfather. So I don't know why I'm talking about that. But at any rate, there was two other people on that show. John, Nevermore Antiques. It was his show. It was his program. They were talking about it. And then there was uh, the Thrifting Goomba. I think it's Michael. And so you guys were on there and talking about it. And I'm like, you know, I've had this thing for a while. Maybe I should do it. <laughs> and I did it and nothing sold. And then all of a sudden, bang, 200 bucks. $200 sale this was. And the beautiful thing is when they buy them off of there, they delist it automatically off of eBay. And this is something that I, it took me two years to sell this many. I still have some up there. I think I still have this exact amount up there. They're Glenn Beck the Christmas Sweater Books and Glenn Beck the Christmas Sweater DVDs. And so they bought five of each. I'm assuming they're going to send them out as a present for somebody at Christmas time is what I'm assuming. Now I bought these from the Goodwill. See if I can find it here. They're autographed. So you'll see the inside here, is, it's autographed by Glenn Beck. And then each DVD is numbered. So this is, uh, there's 3,000 total, 1,768, and then an autograph, and then it's sealed on top of it. So I was at the Goodwill here in Bedford, Virginia, which by the way, I think is opening today. So I need to get down there and check that thing out, I guess. I don't know, maybe I shouldn't. I got too much merchandise to list. At any rate, they were in there and they had prices on them like they were selling normal DVDs. So I went and talked to the manager. I'm like, you know, it's going to take you a month of Sundays to sell those DVDs out of there at that DVD price. How about you let me buy every single one of them for a dollar and then I'll buy all those books that you had at two dollars. I'll buy them for 50 cents and I'll take every single one you had. And he said, sure, no problem. <laughs> That's exactly what I did and I made quite a bit of money on it. But that one right there, because they're all getting shipped off to one person, media mail, I'm gonna make a bunch of money off of that. So that's a really, really good sale and I'm happy about that. So if you wanna check out Bonanza, I know that show, maybe I'll link that show that John did at Nevermore Antiques. I think either he or somebody over there had a link and you can go there and you can get some credits for uh, signing up. I would have done that except for I had already signed up. I might even put a link of my own down there. If you want to try it out, it's really not any more work. Just a few little hoops you got to jump through and then it should be pretty easy. So I'm just trying it out myself and maybe we can do this journey together. So at any rate, maybe I'll put a link to those channels here in the description if I can remember. But thanks for that, guys. I appreciate that. And I just realized I have one more sale that I skipped over. So let me show it to you. All right, this sale came from Richard the Storage Guy, which is on this channel. If you go down and look at the playlist, you'll see private picks, and I think there's two things in there. And Richard the Storage Guy sold me. I think I paid a dollar for this one. I bought a bunch of giant Bibles, figuring I could either pick out the good ones and sell them on eBay and sell the rest in my booth for five bucks, make some money. But this Raphael book, first of all, it intrigued me because I'm a history teacher. And secondly, it's got all kinds of great pictures in here that are just awesome. A lot of them are in color like these, and I'm like, somebody's gonna want this. I mean, if nothing else, you could take, this is a two-pager, so you couldn't do it, but you could take these things out and you could frame them. Somebody could put some artwork up in their house for a really nice price, because there are tons and tons of pictures in here. I'm like, this thing's gonna sell. I would have listed it for more, but it doesn't have the cover. So I listed it for $25 plus shipping and put media mail shipping on it, and we're shipping it out. All right, sorry for the long video, but we had a lot of sales. And if you can believe it, there's still 16 sales left that I didn't talk about. <laughs> We're going to push them back. So anyway, thanks again for joining us. Hopefully you're enjoying these videos and hopefully you're finding good stuff and selling good stuff. And we will see you next time. Hey, the Homeschool Hustlers got a gift from a viewer, which is uh, way more than they deserve, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, I wouldn't expect that, but okay. All right, Reagan, you going to open it for us? All right, come on, Turner, let's dig in. Something there for me. That is an awesome North Carolina plate, 1973. Reagan, do you know we don't have one from North Carolina? Oh. So we are going to find a place for that. And I'll read this. I don't know if I'm going to read it, but you guys dig through it here, and I'll uh, tell you who sent it. Okay. Look at that. That's a nice, look like puzzles. And a Noah's Ark puzzle, a Spider-Man puzzle. I know who that's for. I think those two are for you. For you. Yeah. yeah. Ninja Turtles and Spider-Man. Yeah, they're both puzzles. That's right. 
Oh, look at that. There you go. A little homeschool puzzle, maybe, huh? Go to the head of the class. That was a great TV show back in the day, head of the class. Yeah. I love it. Okay, so this is from Gary, y'all. This is from Gary. Thank you. And his eBay store name, I don't think he said he hasn't made the jump to an eBay store yet, but he thanks us for the videos and helping him with shipping and different things like that. So that's really, really kind. And his eBay store name is GD Bolin, B O L E N. So, Reagan, we're going to have to go color in that map. I can't believe we didn't have a North Carolina one. Yeah. That is an awesome looking one too. I just love those old, really crisp ones. That is a sweet looking one. So thank you so much, Gary. We do appreciate it. Can you say thank you? Thank you. Can you say thank you? Thank you. <laughs> All right, see you next time. Bye.